Hello, welcome friends and followers to a new video of Pure Sim Gamer. Today I want to show you how to fly with a Cessna 172 which has the Garmin 1000 uh, navigation system how to fly a um, R-Nav approach uh, which is actually a GPS guided approach for that I'm going to choose a short flight so that it doesn't take too long from takeoff to arrival uh, in air so I'm going to select Coxeide in Belgium as a departure and very nearby Ostend as an arrival. Uh, I want to depart east so I take runway 11 and uh, runway 8 in Ostend is fine so let's fly. So I'm about to take off from uh, Coxeide airport with a short flight to Ostend where I want to do a, a GPS guided RNAV uh, approach and I must say I have flown this path countless times just to have the situation that when I hit the approach button at uh, nearing the airport that the plane just doesn't descend and just flies on over the runway at high altitude so why did that not work well I'm here to show you how to do it correctly and how to fly uh, an RNAV approach so that you catch actually the uh, glide path. Uh, looking here at the GPS map, you can see that we will take off from Echo Bravo Frankfurt November. Uh, we will fly to a waypoint which is called Tosco, to a next wage point which is called Ozon. And then we will go in a direct line to the airport of Ostend, which is about here, runway 08. Uh, now, have a look at this waypoint, Oscar Sierra Oscar 8 Frankfurt. You will see that this is an important waypoint if I take uh, with me Navigraph charts. Uh, because in Navigraph charts, when I go to the airports and I look for Ostende, which is Echo Bravo uh, Oscar Sierra, and ask for uh, the charts, uh, the approach charts, and we want to have uh, the runway 8 uh, RNAV chart. Uh, well, when we have a look at that chart, you will see that uh, actually there is at this Oscar Sierra Oscar 8 Frankfurt waypoint, this star. That means that's where we want to catch the glide path. Uh, if I look down at the map, you will see that this glide path the star is repeated here and this indicates where you have to catch the glide path. That's Oscar Sierra Oscar 8 uh, Frankfurt. So what I used to do is hit the approach button um, once I arrived at that uh, point. Now very important is if you really want to have the plane to catch the glide path which go goes down to the runway, you have to engage approach well before this waypoint. Uh, and I will show you when to do that. So we are ready to take off now and uh, to fly our path to Ostend. Um, also important is that uh, when you uh, intercept the glide path is that you are at an altitude of uh, 2000 meter. I can show you this again. If I look at the map here, you will see that there's indication here that you have to be at 2,000 feet, feet, at 2,000 feet. So that's why I will not climb higher than 2,000 feet in this flight. So uh, turning this knob here, I can let the altitude increment to uh, 2,000. Well, I choose exactly 2,000 and I'll click vertical speed here and then nose up to have the uh, climbing rate, which is now 100 feet per uh, minute. Uh, I'll put that to uh, 400 feet per minute and uh, we are ready to take off. Uh, just one more thing, uh, to follow the flight plan we will ha first have to take a turn to the right uh, towards Tosco. So we can take off now and that's what I'm going to do 
right now so throttle to full I put my flaps to full too release the parking brake and off we go we can take off at the speed of about 60 knots we're reaching 49 now 60 and let's take off and let me take a turn to the right to intercept the path before I engage autopilot so I think if I engage autopilot now it will work this is this button autopilot and GPS is nav and now we should be following uh, on autopilot you can see actually the icon GPS here here is GPS autopilot is armed and we are climbing at a, a rate of 450 meters per minute uh, to reach 2000 meters. Now I will come back to you uh, well, once we reach uh, the airport of Ostende to show you when exactly you have to hit the approach button uh, for intercepting the glide path of the RNAV uh, assisted uh, descent. Now that we are on our way, uh, let me explain you that there is another way to do an assisted descent to a runway and that's the ILS or instrument landing system approach where you actually use a frequency of a beacon on the runway and that frequency will communicate with the radio system of your Garmin 1000 uh, to guide you downwards to the runway but um, on smaller airfields uh, especially the ones you find on bush trips uh, you won't have uh, the beacon with uh, an ILS radar. That's why it's important to be able to have a GPS uh, guided uh, descent, uh, which is uh, what we are doing now. Uh, we selected a RNAV approach. Uh, and let me show you where I did that. I went to procedures. Uh, I went to select approach and there I hit enter and I selected the RNAV uh, 8 approach that's how I uh, activated the RNAV approach now what I want to tell you is what is the exact good moment to uh, activate the approach well as you can see here we are on Navigraph charts uh, heading heading towards the ozone uh, waypoint where we take a turn to the right uh, we have to intercept the glide slope uh, immediately afterwards so once we make a uh, an angle of less than 45 degrees with our final straight line that's what you have to uh, activate approach so we are doing this right now we are banking to the right and I will have a look here. You could also have a look at the map here. And now we are at about uh, 60 degrees. Now we are at 45 degrees angle with the final straight line. That's when you can hit this button here, which is approach. And now I have to do nothing. You can see that GP stands here now. This means that uh, the glide path is uh, is uh, waiting to be uh, it to be ac uh, activated. It is now armed. We are at 2,000 feet, which is uh, below the altitude that we should be on the next waypoint, which is Oscar Sierra Oscar 8 Frankfurt. At the moment, the plane is not descending; it's just flying on. But once we reach Oscar Sierra Oscar 8 Frankfurt, and as we have uh, activated the approach button well before that uh, we can expect that the plane will start descending and catch the glide path uh, at Oscar Sierra Oscar 8 Frankfurt I'll be right back 
uh, once we reach that weight point to see how the plate behaves. So now we can see actually the runway in front of us. And if you look on Navigraph charts, uh, Oscar Sierra, Oscar 8 Frankfurt is uh, nearing in. Um, on the primary freight display, we have this magenta uh, icon here, which is the glide path that we want to catch. So we expect that when this glide path uh, comes to the center, that uh, the plane will start uh, following it downwards towards uh, the uh, runway. So we just have to wait until we are at Oscar Sierra, Oscar 8 Frankfurt. You can see here that the distance is 0 0.1 nautical mile, uh, miles. And what can you see? The glide, uh, the glide path is now in green, which means that the plane has reacted and you can see that it starts descending. We are going from 1900 to 1880, 1860, 1840 meters. The plane is nicely descending. So I put out the flaps again. Uh, we don't need the navigraph charts anymore. And all we have to do is manage our speed. As you can see, it's quite high. So I'll descend, uh, de detract the throttle so that we lose a speed. But the plane is nicely following the glide path downwards. I'm not using the yoke. Uh, I'm not doing any manual fly flying. Uh, we are now uh, in GPS mode, GPS assisted mode, in RNAV mode, descending towards the runway. And you can have a look. You will see that the flaps are down uh, that makes that we can fly at a lower uh, speed also for those who don't have navigraph charts you can perfectly follow the flight here you can change the range with this button and as you can see the icon of the plane is here uh, the runway is straight ahead and we descend nicely and smoothly uh, towards the runway of Ostende. I would advise uh, for training ends to choose like me a short flight. Uh, I have been in the air I think for less than uh, five minutes so uh, if you have to try it over again then uh, you don't have to fly too far uh, from your uh, departure airport. Uh, we are at 85 uh, knots that's a good uh, speed uh, for descending. And this can be practical if the weather is different. Uh, if I would choose another weather circumstance like uh, big and bold or uh, rainy or misty, then uh, we don't need a visual of the uh, airfield. Uh, the plane uh, automatically descends uh, towards the airstrip. So the last thing that we will have to do, look at those uh, puppy lights. There's two white and two red, which means that we are at the perfect Tower altitude. Tower Theresen 7787 is three miles west, 700 feet with alpha to land. So uh, at the end, we have to disengage the autopilot to do the landing manually. So we will have to hit this button to disengage the autopilot. As you can see here, AP is still in green, is still active. Uh, I'm going to take control uh, of the plane uh, at the very end. And you can see that the magenta icon is beautifully in the middle and we follow it by descending still in uh, altitude. So ready for the landing, I'll hit autopilot at the very last minute so that I have to do a minimum of corrections to land the airplane. Our speed is nearly perfect at 89 uh, knots per hour and uh, I can hit autopilot now and simply let the plane slide slowly downwards towards the runway. So I hope you learned something about when to activate the approach button for an RNF descent and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up or even subscribe for more tutorials uh, I will be glad to help you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments mark. Maybe I'll make a video to address your issue. Okay, thank you for watching and bye-bye.